Hi, this is Wes Hewitt, and this is my uh, video version of creating a context diagram using Cameo and uh, SysML. So as you can see on the screen, this is the context diagram that we uh, created uh, in class, Dave demonstrated, and uh, I want to take this one step farther from the PowerPoint version into a SysML version of the context diagram. So, um, so I will present this in uh, two or three steps. Uh, first of all, starting off by creating a um, SysML model, a uh, toy model, and then uh, create the blocks for the toy in the model, uh, just like in the context diagram, using a BDD or a block definition diagram and then link those blocks, like in the context diagram, with a verbiage uh, using an IBD, internal block diagram, okay? So this really here is the toys in the center, but this is the toy domain, you might call this. Uh, and I'm actually gonna create a block called the toy domain. Uh, so the model uh, will be able to uh, put all the context items in under one block. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at that here. Uh, this is what it's going to sort of look like here, uh, kind of a preview of the BDD of all the blocks that are in the toy domain, uh, the parent, the toy storage, the projectile, the child, and the toy. And then from this, so these are the building blocks, the blocks, okay, and then we'll create an internal block diagram of just uh, the toy, okay? So, uh, we'll, so we'll create an IBD of the toy domain, and part of this toy domain internal block diagram is the toy in the center, like we did in uh, the uh, context diagram in class, surrounded by the, uh, the items that are in the domain relate to the toy. Uh, things that affect uh, the design requirements, uh, the stakeholders, and what they do. So we'll sort of make it look like this, and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, the first thing we do is we go to File, we say uh, New Project, and uh, you come down here to SysML, and we'll call this Toy2, and I'll say OK. So you see, um, it always defaults to in this containment area here, and this we call this the browser area. Okay, it creates the model, and I'll do a right click here, and uh, let's start off creating um, the block diagram to create the elements. Okay, so we'll create a diagram, and this is going to be the block definition diagram. Okay, and it creates uh, the frame for SysML. You always have a frame. It's got a BDD in the front for block description diagram. Uh, model is in parentheses, which uh, represents the uh, uh, kind of uh, diagram this is. Okay, and this uh, model here is the, uh, this represents this model package here, <coughs> which is entitled model. And then the diagram is the last thing on the end, the diagram name, okay? So let's just change this to uh, toy, okay? So this is a description of the toy. Uh, in fact, we could even call this the toy domain. Okay, so the f next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start creating this hierarchy of blocks. This is a block definition, so this is going to be the toy domain block, okay? And you notice over here, it automatically adds it into this uh, inter model. Now, um, Cameo allows you to you gives these automatic uh, kind of hints here. So I'm going to create some direct composition with this black diamond here, and uh, click down here, and okay. And then this is going to be uh, the the next piece here. Just a second here. So this will be the, uh, let's say, parent. So 
one second here so uh, I can look at that and uh, so it names this relationship parent this is actually represents a part of uh, the part called parent so the blocks parent and it created a part or an instance of parent with a little letter and that sort of represents what so automatically creates that and we'll show you over here when you click on here you see this little P so it's created this is the part and this is the block so this is an instance of parent okay and it built that for you so now I'm going to create another one and this will be storage toy storage and we'll click another one it's going to be let's see we child okay and the last one here i'll stick over here called projectile okay oh this is the wrong one here so let's uh we'll just delete this child here had it going from the wrong thing so let me do this here so that's a good way to fix that so when I made a mistake a lot of times if you catch it quick you can hit the back key or here I just deleted it out of here permanently deleting something over here in the browser it gets rid of it and just recreate it okay another cool thing is this little uh, button here for quick diagram layout okay so you notice that uh, quickly uh, put it all together and then down here if I want to zoom this kind of substitutes for zooming okay I can use this uh, zoom feature here okay so uh, let's see I think that's all the uh, what am I missing oh we're missing the toy right okay let's let's get the toy in here I'll make it a little bit bigger click here one more thing so that's the system itself okay now from this I'm gonna create the internal block diagram of toy domain by clicking that and the toy domain IBD internal block diagram is going to include because you're now going to look inside the toy domain okay and that's going to what the uh, the context diagram is it's it's looking inside the domain not the toy itself but just the domain um, okay so I can uh, mouse over the toy domain and create a diagram here it says SysML internal block diagram so when I do it this way this diagram will automatically be linked to the uh, the toy domain here so uh, you'll see why this linking is very helpful okay so it automatically selects the objects for you so it doesn't just create a blank diagram it actually uh, builds this uh, puts the pieces in here so in an IBD an internal block diagram you don't have blocks on an internal block you have instances of blocks okay which means okay it's a here's a car this is a very specific version uh, for this toy domain so I'm gonna rename this IBD because this is a, a the block is toy domain but this diagram this diagram name I'm going to name it uh, context diagram. Okay, so here's the diagram right here. If you're looking for something too, you can always do a right click over here, I believe, and uh, and you can uh, find stuff. Like if you're looking for that, uh, select in structure or containment tree. Okay. So anyway, so here's the uh, toy domain diagram. So I'm going to change the name of this to toy. Uh, let's see it already says toy domain I'm just gonna say context context diagram okay so now it says context okay so now I'm gonna arrange it similar to the way uh, we our requirement is is to put the toy in the middle and everything around it and show the domain in this type of configuration okay so we'll put the toy in the middle We'll put the uh, toy storage over here. I'll uh, we'll put the projectile over here and just kind of arrange this a little bit here. 
and let's see the child is down here okay uh, let's see parent where's the parent parents over here okay and uh, we could uh, zoom in a little bit here and uh, let's say for making you'd like to have the boxes to make it look good you want all the boxes to look sort of the same size so I'll select all the boxes here and I'll click on this little tool here make same size okay so that looks better you notice there's two names here this is the block name this is the part name this could be P1 it could be blank but the part is a unique thing but it's identical to the the master uh, definition of parent okay so that's why there's two names separated by a colon so you could have parent one parent two parent three uh, or it could be Bob Joan and Martha or something like that uh, with the different names in here in this other column but they would all be of the class or block type of parent okay that's why there's two names in there if you wanted to make it look exactly like uh, uh, Dave's picture you could always delete these and just uh, do it that way but it's up to you uh, this is a little more precise another little tool you can use which is kind of cool is this little pusher okay to make things look copacetic here okay if you click this thing it'll make it look like the other hierarchy tree and you, we don't want to do that for this diagram so okay so that's pretty good now let's put the lines in okay what are the relationships so I'm going to use this connector option here and I can go from here to here and if you want to change you know the direction top bottom whatever let's just do it this way here and then I'll click over here since this line is selected I'm going to click on properties I'm going to come over here under name I'm going to say stores okay and then I'm going to move it over here now I'm also I'm going to try this again here except this time I'm going to click on toy and then just click on the little connector and it automatically connect one side and you can move it around a little bit uh, come over here and say in stored is stored in okay and this is closest here because the toy is stored in this way and parent stores this way so the name goes to the closest to the block that you want to read first okay so let's do this again this time we'll go to the child and uh, let's see this one originally went sort of like maybe from the side here you can always slide this over a little bit you can arrange these uh, things here okay and let's see that one is called attracts and last but not least okay throws okay so I got the four boxes now what's missing here there's this um, system um, area box here the uh, uh, you want to have a little dotted line box around here for the uh, system boundary now what I use uh, here is if you come over here under common there's a thing it says horizontal separator a little down arrow here this is one of the uh, things you can do as a rectangle shape and put that around here okay and uh, that's about it so um, okay so what's really different about this this is very close to what uh, Dave wanted for the homework uh, which you did could have done in PowerPoint now this is a model you can change if you want no color you can always turn off the color on these things you have to uh, look that up uh, and just make sure you got black lines everything's black so that's the only color in it and uh, so you've created basically 
this is the context diagram and the only extra step you had to do is create the block diagram. Now where did the block diagram go? Oh, okay. So the way I created this is it was built on the other one. So there's a little arrow here. It's, there's a link between this diagram and the other diagram. So you can use that. And in the model, the uh, this diagram is here for the context. And uh, the toy domain BDD is over here. And the little symbol here is for BDDs. And this is the symbol for uh, an IBD. Okay. So uh, again, we talked about how to build something that makes it look uh, like your context diagram. And why is this important? It's because now you've actually taken information on your development phase, creating uh, a context diagram. You're going to create use cases, and you want this to start building your integrated model. And now you've started that by building these folders and creating these objects, which you can re reuse uh, in other parts and other diagrams that you're going to do in the future. So. Okay, so uh, that's all I got. Thank you very much.